Hello and welcome back to my video. In this video is the first one of Libra NMS. If you know about the protocol SNMP, it's a protocol where you can get information about your router, your server, your switches and a lot of stuff on your network. It can track uh, the storage, the, uh, the disk I.O., the network tra traffic and the CPU protocol and lots of stuff. It's very nice. So let's begin to install the basic of Libra uh, NMS and then we will continue in following videos. The first you want to do is uh, creating the user on a MySQL database. I am using MariaDB right now because that's what uh, they have coding for. So I will uh, log into my MariaDB server and create uh, a test user with a test database. So let's create the database first. When I do this, I want to create a user. And I'll give him access to remote from anywhere. password of the reform and then we're good to go. Now I want to give it access to the database uh, on the Libra MS test database and all the tables inside should go for the user Libra MS test if you remote from anywhere. Okay, I have a spelling error. We just copy this uh, just to be sure we don't have any mistakes. And the database should be. probably have a spelling error here. I'll try it out again. And then we'll go. I will ex uh, exit the, the MariaDB and I will exit my SSH. And then the next step would be to log in to our new Libra NMS test server. I will log inside to, to it. Probably wrong password. No, that's correct. And I need to install the 10.4 uh, MariaDB drivers to client. So I will add my client here, and then I will copy. Uh, the 10 form to my repository and then I will create a sudo update after that. And then I can say sudo add install Maria DB client. That's the only thing I want because I don't want the server on this uh, machine right now. I already have the, the MariaDB database, so I will just wait until it's done. When I have the client installed, I will try to connect to my other uh, MySQL uh, server so I can be sure my username and password will work for the next part of this video. MySQL H 
this is a host and the user should be root, uh, no libra ms test and the password should be pass1234 and we are inside so our username and password working perfectly so let's continue for the next one i will go for inside here and say to do s i'll switch to the root user i will uh, to be sure i have the universal enabled i already have it and i want to update it to be sure and then i just go inside and install everything i have a big list here i will bring it down in small pieces you can see this one just type it and pause the, the video and type everything down and install it this will say yes and then you're starting to install everything here you need everything so please install everything and then we are done and ready to add the new user But yeah, we have it. And then we need to add the user to the group, the VVV data group. And we will go inside here. And we will just compose it. And it could take some while, but just wait till it's done. Take a uh, grab of coffee or something like that. And just wait. You can see it's installing here, and here's what taking a time. And then we are almost there. And now we are ready to uh, go inside of PHP uh, FPM file, search for a time zone, date, time, I will go down here and add, oops, date, time, and I will add Europe Copenhagen, that's where I am from, and then we want to go for CLI and go inside again and date uh, time and uh, one more time try that and uh, again insert and then I'll just say service PHP Start. and then we need to create our nginx configuration file and then I will just copy this in and you can see this is my configuration file pause the video and be sure you have the same in your uh, web server I will save it and going out I will remove the normal one the default and I will go inside and restart Nginx. I will uh, copy my SNMP information configuration file and I will conf config it. And this uh, string, random string, goes here. You can randomize it. I just say public just to have something you know. Public is using the default in many places, so I will use this to, to test. I will install the, the distro information curl and I will make it executable 
and then I will say service SNMPD restart. I will copy a, a Chrome job and one more. I will copy the log rotator and I will change the owner of my library here and then I'll give rights to the folder number one and folder number two and I'll go inside here the next one if you're following the configuration it will right away working as it should but I have problems because I'm using a remote database so I get stuck in the install so I will configure um, Libre NMS here by copy the file I will say copy the default uh, we have it here where we have it, where we have it I have seen that here, config dot php to config php, yes and then nano save it here and we have the host it's our remote database and we have the username libranimus test and we have the password password to three four and we have the database should be test and now it should be running if we go in up to the browser you can see here we, do, we have something here but we need to fill it up and if we go inside we don't have anything you can see it's some problems here with our login to fix this you need to install the, uh, uh, again so to so do user libra ms and then basic we have it here uh, where we got it I have it before build phase that what we need this one can take a little while because it's need to install everything about the system so again just wait until it's done and then we can continue to add a user so we can log in to our administration panel and now we are finished now I want to add a user we can just do this and add a user here and you can see I need a username let's call it the element and then the password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then a level should be 10 email is optional and we don't need it so if I'm switching back from my browser you would could see it here element 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and we are logged in and congratulations we are almost there no devices let's add one device we add our own devices and use public add device everything is good and your device is added so congratulations you completed your first Libra NMS control panel and you are ready to add other devices to your control panel thank you so much for watching this video to the ending and i hope you enjoy i hope you want to subscribe my channel so you can get more videos from me i will of course add more libra nms videos and i hope you want to share it with your friends add it to a playlist and if you have any questions please make comments below thank you so much for your time and see you next time